So I was in the middle of writing some code and I just went and looked over on Blue Sky. And uh, so crediting uh, Pavel Samsonov for this little rant. Uh, yeah, if you want to poach a designer who uh, has some chops, uh, go over and check him out. It was about uh, NaNoWriMo, the novel writing sort of sprint thing you want to call it, in, uh, sort of event or whatever you want to call it uh, in uh, November. And uh, they released a press release uh, recently that talks about oh, their position on AI. And they're like, oh, no, AI is great. And then there's a bunch of people that are sort of rebelling against this. And Pavel goes and looks at the sponsor list and finds out that one of them is like an AI writing support tool. So it's like, okay, well, that's cute. But he goes and he looks at their website and it's uh, something about like 10x the AI features or whatever. And this got me thinking about something I remarked about a few days ago that like it just bananas to me that a, a feature is the basic unit of account both in software marketing and in project management because like all a feature is is a capability like and it maps one to one to a, a piece of code well the problem with that is that you can't know if a feature is going to have some annoying behavior or not. My favorite example is MySQL's date data type. So it's like, oh, does it have date time features? Well, yes, it does, but it has all sorts of brokenness. Like you can have like a date of zero uh, that it doesn't do the calculations correctly or doesn't have the, um, the switch from Julian to Gregorian calendar, like that kind of stuff. Like it, it's just busted. And it's always been busted. And now people are relying on the fact that it's busted. So as like a checklist of a feature, you, you go and you say, oh, does it have this thing? And it's like, yep, it's got it. And then you go and you look and it's like, oh my God, this is, this is unusable or this is deeply broken or what have you. Now, the fix that I determine for this is the fact or just noticing the fact that you can define features in terms of behavior, but you can't define behavior in terms of features. And you go and you look at, say like a bug tracker, you say like X is busted, and then you say, well, what I expected it to do and how it behaved instead. And that is sort of like the template for a bug. Now, you can write bugs, and I mean, this is sort of what a user story does uh, ideally is to say, you know, as a user, I want to X so I can Y. The way that they're written, and I mean, this is another Pavel thing, the way that they're written is, uh, you know, I want to complete tasks so I can use the tool. And so there's this kind of degeneracy that happens when you focus on features. And I really kind of wonder like what the marketing would look like in software instead of marketing features like oh we have and you know it's funny because they just enumerate them all the time they're like apple does this all the time and they've been doing it for 40 plus years is like there's a hundred new features in like the new mac os or the new ios and it's like what does that even freaking mean more features like and then we parse that and we say oh we can do a hundred new things but then they kind of the features get sort of retconned onto certain behavior when it when the behavior yields some new capability. But capability is only one kind of behavior. But anyway, more features. I'm gonna finish my coffee.